Hello everyone. Now I am going to show you how to visualize data using Tableau. I am going to use a source as an Excel file here. So I am going to use connect a file using Excel. Here I am using Tableau public version. I am having a data of uh, Hollywood most profitable stories. So if you see here all the columns on Excel is giving a preview over here. And if you see uh, on the right top you can have a filter of uh, cleaning up things. So if I want to add a filter you can see all the columns listed here if you want to filter for an year. Actually in the data the filter is from 2007 to 2011 so if you want for any particular year or if you want for any something like from 2008 to 2010 you can make the filter over here so uh, mostly you can do all the data cleaning work on this page so once you are done with the data cleaning work we can go to the sheets to visualize this so i'm going to sheet one here so if you see here uh, on the left side uh, there is a two uh, separate things one is for dimension and the other was for measure thing measure things are nothing but the number values and the dimension will be mostly of strings so if we, if i want to uh, measure values is nothing but the metrics in another form so if you want to display this first i'll i'll take the journal I'm going to see which journal is having uh, more profitability. So here you can see uh, the comedy uh, journal is having the more profitability. So and on the right side if you see there are few charts are uh, enabled now. So it, it means that you can either choose uh, or switch to any other visualization which you like. So for this I'm, I like to go with this bar chart. So next I'll, I'm creating another sheet here. Here I'm going to see the reviews from Rotten Tomatoes uh, by the film. So if you see here and if I want to make another change, if I want to see the year in a color form, I can just drag this year to color here. So it will, it will giving you a different colors. The color differentiation indicates the year. The darkest is the 2011 and the lighter one is 2008 and the very lighter one you can see here that is 2007. So due to the color difference you can even change the colors if you want by right clicking on this and you can you can see so many options over here. Trend line, forecast, drop lines, exclude, create set keep only view data select all there are so many options to have the uh, visualization of your own style so I'll keep I'll go to area area is not looking good I'm going to bubble chart when bubble is okay I'll go to tree map yeah tree map looks good bubble chart is okay tree map yeah tree map looks good if you see the uh, bigger uh, area is having the bigger uh, values from the rotten tomatoes if you see the down very smaller one you can see only the a number of six for a movie uh, waiting forever so this is how you need to read this tree map and I'm going to the next sheet here I'm going to say the number of records by the lead studios and if I want to see that in a color bubble graph this is how the bubble graph looks the bigger bubble shows the more number of records on the smaller bubble shows the less number of records so having this three sheets created i'm going to make a dashboard out of it so for that i'm going to just drag and drop this I'm going to drag the sheet to over here i want to make this as an entire view 
and I am going to just arrange this in order it should looks good yeah and here if I see this I can make somewhere to the bottom to the top to see the color three starts from this lighter color and 96 to ends with this darker color and even if I want to change the title I can change it here or even I can change it on the sheet itself so this I can name it as a film by ratings So I'm I can make to whatever font size or whichever and sheet one I can name it as journal by profitability and sheet three I can name it as lead studios lead studio by number of records so after this is done it will be automatically reflected over here so I'm going to put the sheet one over here sheet 1 which is giving the table view and the sheet 3 over here which is again entire view this is the one which shows what is so I am going to minimize this and I am going to take this over here this even over here if you download and see uh, it will it will it looks good and I'm going to make this over here so here I'm done with the dashboard so thank you so much for watching